For the best ways to compost at home, we spoke to Louis. Marissa De Dominicis, co founder and executive director of environmental nonprofit Earth Matter NY. George Pisania, deputy director and chief of horticulture at the New York Horticultural Society. Diane Meisler, author of Grow Your Soil. Sandy Nurse, founder and co director of BK Rot, a service that collects businesses' food waste for composting. And Jeffrey Yorzik, associate director of sustainability at the Meal Kit Company. Hello Fresh. Our panel of experts recommended a variety of composting strategies for all levels of commitment. If you want to do the bare minimum, Eco, 2000 plus kitchen compost waste collector. The easiest way to start is to collect your food scraps in a composting bin. You don't even have to compost them yourself. You can take them to a drop, off-site. This bin comes recommended by Pisania, who says it will minimize odor and keep fruit flies and other critters away. Most countertop compost bins come with a lid that contains a charcoal filter to reduce odors. These can be restocked online or at most local hardware stores. Biobag 48, count 3, gallon compostable bags. For collecting food scraps to bring to a drop. Off-site, the nurse recommended doing so in compostable bags made from organic materials, like these from Florida, based company Biobag. They're great for using in a bin and you can tie it up and bring it to a site, eliminating plastic bags, she said. If you're okay with worms as roommates, hot frog living composter. If you don't have a ton of space and want an indoor composting option, all of our experts recommend worm composters, a series of stacked trays that are, yes, filled with hundreds of worms. Feed your food scraps to those worms, Louis says, and the worms poop out your compost. Once one tray gets full, you can add another as the worms climb vertically, she says. If you're looking for a less expensive worm composter, Meisler recommends the Vermihut 5 tray bin, which she says gets consistently good reviews and is at the low end of the price range. Although she warns that worm bins require some simple maintenance to keep them thriving and odorless, Meisler points out that it truly is simple maintenance, adding shredded newspapers and kitchen waste. Plus, she says, the final product, rich compost writhing with red worms, brings joy to most gardeners.